Hey, fellow Spiky Day here. Okay, guys, this is video number three ski of my USS Alabama by Trump there, the scale of 1350. Okay, fellas, I've been pretty much been on this for for a pretty long while now, putting about five, six hours on a day. And uh, so I think I'll be able to have her done at least by, hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have her done for a final reveal. And uh, she's all painted up, all weathered. Looks like she's uh, she's fixing to go to dry dock, do some, uh, have Mary Sue come over and um, do some ship's work, like doing some painting on it. And uh, she's due for a paint job. <laughs> Being at sea for a long time, you know, like, Wear and tear and rust will uh, will be promoted. Okay, guys. Uh, thus far, taken from the last video, uh, number two of the uh, of the uh, build report on my uh, Alabama. I went ahead and uh, completed all the painting. And I did I did the irregular patterns using uh, dark sea blue, and they're toned down by using different shades of uh, blue and gray, and I had a lot of rust to it and. Uh, all I have to do to complete this beautiful little girl is um, I got two float planes, uh, the OS2U Kingfisher has got to be painted and installed, decals, rigging, and uh, she's finished. Uh, also I got to uh, prepare and also uh, construct uh, the, the ways for the display on top of the board like that on my USS Princeton. So uh, I'm going to do, do my Sunday's finest, fellas, and have her done by the, by tomorrow for the final reveal. If not, it'll definitely be done by Sunday. So we'll see how it goes, fellas. Okay, guys, uh, before we uh, take, a, take a gander and a review of this, I'd like to thank everybody out there for your wonderful, warm, and candid uh, comments on my last video I did. I'm sorry, fellas, that I did that in two parts. Uh, I must have done something wrong with my ca uh, on my camera, my camcorder. I, every time it goes over 15, 20, 10 minutes or so like that, it, it breaks down two videos, like different frames. So I guess that's going to be edited out into one. So that's what I'm going to start getting involved in my Studio 11. And uh, try to make use of that. And I can edit all that stuff here and be like you great fellas out there. How you do all your... Uh, your, your final reveals and displays, and also your videos. So it's time me me to um, to get involved in the studio work. And uh, since I've been I'm retiring this Sunday, and uh, I got nothing but time, fellas, nothing but time. This can be used constructively too. Okay, enough of that chatter right there, fellas. Let's go take a look at the USS Alabama. I'll discuss exactly uh, what was done on it. Put the cigar down before I, I burn a hole in my sock or something. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll swing this front of the camera over and take a look at her. There she is in her target right there, fellas. You can see the um, all the rust work I've done on her. And look at the bow. You can see the rust is very subtle on there. It's done all the way from stem to stern, and also on top of the forecastle deck. I've got a little got rust around the anchor chains and the, and the chain plates, and um, also on the, on the uh, 16 inch uh, turrets, they, they have, have had their share of rust too. Because believe you me, fellas, these things are at sea for a long time, and uh, when you're at war, it's not a spit and polish navy like it was before. It's uh, wear and tear and I'll come back to dry dock and get it painted up and, re and uh, repaired and back to war again until everything's over and said and done. Yeah, you can see all the detail and the rust and the weathering I've done on the bridge section of it here, fellas. And the uh, same thing goes aft. The wrong end. Where am I? That's the there we go. Excuse me, fellas, that little blooper right there. 
You can see the ash how there, how it got the rust, how it melts down from the uh, from the gunnels all the way down from the freeboard down to the water line. The same thing I'm going to do on this here. I'm going to mast this black boot topping off on here. At that's masked off right there, I'm going to go ahead and add white green underneath that boot topping to simulate rust. And uh, so on boot topping anti phallic paint, fellas, rust don't turn rust color, it turns like a like an oxidized white color. And it's, not, it's pure oxidation. So I'm going to add a little, little uh, settlements up there of, uh, of the water line, too. You have that all done, of the boot topping. And uh, we can go ahead and tad more, fellas. I, there we go. I don't want to obscure the view. You can see what I've done this bad boy, guys. And uh, you can see aft again, how I've done. I haven't got the screws on yet. That's another thing i got to add. So i got to quit putting the cart before the horse. i got to start looking around and see if there's any parts I forgot on it. And you can see the bow section on there. And uh, and right now, fellas, uh, she's at this stage right now of construction. And uh, so all that's left to finish up is, like I said, folks, make a display base on here and go ahead and do my rigging, my, add my decals, my float planes. Now I find I had installed my screws. So I'm going to go ahead and airbrush the screws, let them dry overnight, so I'll go ahead so I can be able to um, uh, install them tomorrow when they're touched to dry. Yeah, the South Dakota class battleship, folks, such as the Alabama, the Massachusetts, and Indiana, uh, they are four class ships. And uh, they were actually were on the drawing board before Pearl Harbor was attacked. And uh, with these things here in, in, uh, in mind, fellas, uh, the, uh, the Alabama uh, was a new type of battleship because they're trying to get away, trying to get away from the, um, the old dread, uh, post World War I dreadnought, such as that of the Arizona. And um, and actually, when uh, when these ships were virtually sunk at Pearl Harbor and were raised, they were taken to Puget Sound in Washington, Bremington, I guess. And uh, they were refitted, and uh, they were actually using the plans of South Dakota, as you notice on the uh, California, the Tennessee, the West Virginia, the Maryland. And they all have the, uh, the South Dakota look because this is the first new class battleship that there was. And after the South Dakotas came out, the Washington class came out. And after the, uh, the Washington class came out, the Iowa class came out. So there you go, the whole new breed of super battleships. So this here was a new vessel. And uh, the Alabama and the uh, she's a showboat now. She's out there in Mobile, Alabama, and people they're upon millions of tourists that uh, come on border every year. There's a lot of education that's involved in boarding one of these old battle wagons and see the life of a battleship sailor back in World War II and the techniques of the ship's a ship's routine of maintaining and running and uh, be able to uh, to serve on such a wonderful ship like the Alabama. And um, so this is a good kit, fellas. There's no fit issues at all, except other than that, on the deck right here, on the on the O1 level right there, I had to trim out the ears in all four corners to be able to uh, get the fit correctly. And uh, so I got gun directors put on too. I noticed that I got two, I got four gun directors I got to put on there. They all got to be installed. You can see the brilliance of the blues, fellas, on the deck right there. Looking forward. And uh, you can see how that rust involves on it. And uh, we'll swing around here on the starboard side, fellas, and we'll take a look at that.
It's a pretty good. It's a fun build, guys. This is a good. Uh, uh, it's a good kit. I don't think you'll have no problems building at all. There's not that many parts compared to that Dragon USS Princeton. Uh, this is a pretty good kit, fellas. So, um, it's like I said before during the um, the inbox review. I went ahead and uh, you can make a waterline version of it too, fellas. You want it its elements, so. So I'm gonna mount this on its way, so it'll look like this, but it'd be all wood up here on the, on the base. Well, okay, fellas, we'll swing around here to the uh, port side, a little dry, and tomorrow I'll, res I'll shall resume, and hopefully I'll have a, the final reveal of the Alabama tomorrow. If not, if not, fellas, the best thing I can do is just go ahead and have her uh, have the final review, most certainly on Sunday. So hopefully I'll have it done tomorrow, fellas. And uh, again, fellas, I'd like to thank everybody out there for your great and wonderful comments, you know, and and uh, I'll get you, try to comment you guys back and everything. And uh, there she is, fellas. I'm going to go ahead and let her dry. And uh, she, she's done, I'll go ahead and start that Grumman Gulf Hawk. Okay, boys, it's time for Frankie Day to get out of here right now. I'll swing his camera here truly and finish up the video. Here he is, guys. Okay, boys. Uh, so tomorrow, so stay tuned for the final reveal of the USS Alabama. Like I said, if not tomorrow, it definitely, most certainly, be the Sunday. And uh, we'll have an update review one day next week uh, on the Grumman Gulf Park. So you guys have a wonderful weekend, fellas, and stay tuned for the update, the uh, final reveal in the Alabama. And thank you again, guys, for everything. I uh, love you guys very much. You guys are the greatest. And this is Frankie Day signing off, and uh, make Mama happy. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, boys.